Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode 4, I Spy. This episode I would consider a pretty Coulson-centric episode, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, not just for that fact, but also because it was a lot more emotional than I was expecting it, you know, based on the preview. But I thought it was a really well done episode. It had, you know, good emotions. It wasn't just the typical story, you know, a former protege, you know, went evil. It turned out, you know, she was being controlled. And, you know, while that does happen a lot too, just how they acted it out was you know, very well done. And, you know, the fact that they were able to pretty much, you know, catch her and basically trick the guy who was controlling her you know it gave us time to hear her side of the story and you know how she talks about how she you know missed the days of actually you know being trapped in the coal mine compared to pretty much being a slave who had to do missions you know knock people out or steal stuff and sometimes kill people you know in order to survive so i thought it was a really well done episode and we got to see you know a lot more of Coulson and his protege um the little hint that they gave us once again kind of teasing us about the whole Coulson not being Coulson thing um she kind of knows some of the stuff that Sheila does apparently because you know she's she obviously notices that he's different and when she talks to May at the end and May says you know he almost died with the Avengers she says you know but what did they do to him you know, so she, she knows something happened, so she obviously knows a lot more than just a normal field agent, which I thought was pretty interesting. So hopefully that comes up too, where she kind of comes into play, because I actually liked her as a character. And uh, something we learned, you know, because in the preview it seemed like she had superpowers to me, but we learned it's not really superpowers, it's just she has the fake eye, so she can kind of see through walls. Well, not kind of, but she can flat out see through objects and stuff. And it was actually really cool. Um, you know, when they had her captured and, the, like, the main agent, whose name I still can't remember, you know, when he was going out after he was captured, when he was, like, running past the room and was just, um, shooting through the walls because he could see everyone, I thought, yeah, that's a pretty cool invention. And they could actually, now that they've been able to, you know, get that technology that they didn't have, they could, you know, use that in future episodes, like, oh, I can't see this or that, and then, boom, x-ray glasses and stuff. And apparently they can tone it down because at the end of the episode, you know, they use it to, um, she uses it because once again, I can't think of her name either, but the hacker, you know, she uses it to basically see him naked. And that was a really funny scene and they're playing poker and Fitz, or I don't know who's Fitz or who's Simmons because they just say Fitz Simmons like it's one person. But, you know, when they're playing poker, I thought that was a really funny scene. And she's like, you know, if you do this, you'll see him naked too. And he's like, hmm. You know, like, I'm out, you know, I'm done, I, you know, you won. I thought that was funny. But it was a really good episode. We got some great action. Um, you know, we had a one-on-one -on -one fight scene between May, or, you know, with May in it. And that was, that's always cool because, obviously, like, she's actually my favorite character, even though she doesn't really do much. But, like, I'm just waiting for the scene when we really get to see her kind of go full force. But in this episode, you know, we got a cool action scene of her fighting um, the thing where Coulson mentions, you know, when he first finds out who it really is, or when he, you know, finds proof, he was like, you know, since you're in the bus, I figured it had to be her. I thought that was a cool line, too, because it just shows how cool she is, that she could pull off something so crazy, you know, just as an agent, because she's that good. And, you know, I thought the fight was really cool. Her dialogue in the very beginning when, you know, Coulson's like, you know, why do you enjoy flying the plane and stuff? And she's like, you know, the solitude. And that just fits her character. And it was funny. And there's just another, you know, good scene. You know, good line from her. And, you know, good dialogue between them. Because it's always really funny. Because either he'll say something funny. Or he'll just be talking it up. And she'll say, like, one straight line. And then he's like, all right, I'll see you later. Because, you know, she's trying to just get rid of him. So she can enjoy herself, pretty much. So she is my favorite character. If I, you know, had to pick because she's just a cool character even though we don't get too much of her you know it seems like we get little drops in each episode which i think the show does really well it does kind of you know it always seems to focus on one specific character per episode of course but everyone does seem to have their big moments obviously fitz and simmons have the whole surgery um you know just like everyone does their own thing in this episode uh and it, it was just really good it was a good balance for the episode and I think, you know, more so than the other episodes, which is kind of why I consider it my favorite so far, actually. Even though I did really enjoy the last one, too. But I thought it was just a really good episode. You know, as usual, good comedy. 
um, you know, good action. Obviously, I enjoy the action a lot more than, you know, anything else. But it does give us, you know, this episode, it did give us yet another enemy that they'll be going up against, which is, like, this secret organization. Because in the end, they find out that, you know, the guy that they went to look for, he was also under control. So it was just, like, almost like an evil pyramid scheme, which I guess is redundant. But... It's like a super villain, you know, chain of command, and they have all of these people under control with, you know, fake eyes that'll, you know, kill them off if they're busted. And it's some secret organization, and they could really be anywhere. So they'll obviously be a villain throughout this series where they have, you know, groups of people coming in to do this job or do that job. And whatever it is that they were looking for, it's, you know, those two guys in that room and it's just, you know, two random like smart guys writing stuff on a chalkboard. Whatever it is that they were looking for, I would assume it's, you know, some sort of new technology that they're trying to create and, you know, they just needed like the blueprints from those two specific guys because no one they had could actually make it. So I'm excited to see what sort of like super weapon that comes up with or even if it's not a weapon, it could be well, I guess it would still be a weapon, but if it's like a cyborg or something cool like that, that would be nice too. But whatever it is, it's obviously evil. Otherwise, they wouldn't use people with explosive, you know, fake eyeballs to do it. So they gave us a new, you know, secret organization that the group's going to be going up against. So that'll be cool to see, you know, sometime in the future. And I'm hoping Colson's protege does come back into the series. Um, she won't be a main character, of course, but hopefully she will be a recurring character. I did like her, you know, the actress, I thought she did really good. And, you know, she's obviously a really good fighter and stuff. And obviously she had the advantage of the eye so she could see in the dark. And, you know, without that, she doesn't have that, you know, sort of night vision advantage. But she's obviously still a really good, you know, shield agent. She obviously has the skills because... If she couldn't fight, it wouldn't matter if she could see in the dark or anything like that. She just wouldn't be able to do it. And in the beginning of this episode, it was interesting like how she got the diamonds off of the one guy. She kind of like just ripped his hand off. And I thought that was really interesting for the show because that's definitely like the bloodiest thing they've had as far as I can remember. And I should be able to remember because it's only been a month. But that seemed like really bloody. And I thought like, man, they kind of... they really stepped it up in this episode with the blood but that was really it and then other than that it was just you know people fighting and then they had like you know the fake eye explode for the one guy at the end but that was really it but i was definitely expecting something else when they first started off with that and she like ripped the guy's hand off and there's just blood and stuff i was like this is gonna be a, a really crazy episode but it didn't turn out that way and I'm okay with that, but it would have been really interesting to see if they could have gone really far in sort of a bloody tone in just like one of the episodes. But I, you know, that obviously caught me by surprise because it's ABC, I wouldn't think there would be like any insane amounts of blood, but that's just kind of what I thought was gonna happen this episode, but it didn't, you know, no big deal. It's still a great episode, but overall, I thought it was really good. Obviously the connection between you know, the main agent and, you know, the hacker girl. I really got to get their names for some reason. I just never seem to remember. But, you know, they're obviously getting closer. Um, you know, when they're in the van, I thought that was a good scene, too. It was really funny. You know, her, Fitz, and uh, Simmons are just, you know, they're doing their thing in the car. And when they're about to get hit, um, you know, she tries to take the safety off and she, like, pops the mag out, which I thought was really funny because they mention it. And it's like, okay, she'll have it down at this specific part. You know, they mentioned how she always screws up, and this time she'll get it. And she didn't, and she, like, you know, dropped the mag right out, and then they just got hit. And I thought that was really funny. You know, they foreshadowed it, basically. That's what it was. And they showed it, and it was really funny. But overall, I thought it was a really good episode. I'm excited for next week. Um, unfortunately, I can't talk about the preview because I watched it on Hulu because it wouldn't record again. So, don't can't really comment much on the preview for next week's episode, but definitely comment below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Favorite parts, least favorite parts. Uh, who's your favorite character so far? You know, you got May. You, you can obviously pick Coulson because I'm sure a lot of people would say that. You know, Fitz and Simmons could be one of your favorites. Um, they always have their nerdy banter. And, like, every time they do it, they're around everyone else, which I love. And, you know, like, they're talking and arguing. And everyone kind of just gives them weird looks because no one else knows what the heck they're talking about. 
I do love that in every episode, and I really enjoyed it in this one too, because they're talking about like dream, like they, um, like I said, I don't remember who is who, but I think Fitz is the guy and Sims is the girl, but I'm not sure. But you know, she's talking about how it's her dream to go there because like a neuroscientist knew was something. It wasn't that, but it was like higher than that. You know, that's where he was born, so that's why it was her dream. And they're arguing about stuff, and everyone else is just looking at them like that okay like you're just saying stuff that no one knows and i really enjoy them for that too but let me know who's your favorite character and least favorite you know if you have somebody you don't like for some reason um you know obviously let me know but comment below let me know and definitely thanks for watching